Hello everyone. Thanks for joining our webinar on business process automation with Office 365. I'm Surendra Dudani, the Director of Product and Business Development at BizPortal Solutions. And I'm joined by Anil Gorsani, our Solutions Lead, and we are excited to have you for today's webinar. Many of you are familiar with what an Office 365 intranet is and what its capabilities are. We'll get into that for those of you who are not familiar. But in short, an Office 365 internet is a modern digital workplace solution for your company-wide document and content management, forms management, project management, communication, and collaboration. It houses everything you, your team, and company works on in one streamlined, organized place. For today's webinar, we'll be focusing on using an Office 365 internet to automate your business process. And when I say business process automation, I mean digitizing and automating your repetitive manual forms, workflows, and tasks across your business. So we're gonna show you what an Office 365 internet is and the types of tasks and workflows that can be easily automated. That is the goal of uh, today's webinar. So let's jump into uh, agenda. Uh, our agenda will be as follows. First, we are going to give you a quick introduction to our presenters and company. Second, we'll talk about our business process automation and the specific types of tasks, workflows, and processes that can be automated with an Office 365 internet. Uh, we'll also talk about what an Office 365 internet is, the built-in tools and integrations it has for business process automation and options on how to get started if you are on or looking to move to Office 365. Then Anil will show you a real life example with a demo of our BizPortal solutions uh, and business enabled internet solution for Office 365. It has built in business process automation that's ready to use for your most common business needs. So we'll be showcasing you what that looks like. Finally, we'll end with some Q&A so you can ask any questions on what we cover. We'll try to leave a few minutes for Q&A at the end, but please ask questions throughout the presentation if we can get to your questions during webinar, we'll certainly follow up with you uh, via email. Please note that your microphone is on mute, so please use the chat inside the GoToWebinar toolbar to ask your questions. Again, I'm Surendra Dudani, the Director of Product and Business Development at BizPortal Solutions. I have many years of experience with software business and product and business development including collaboration and line of business products. I'm joined by Anil Gursani, who's our solutions lead. He leads our customer implementations. He has over 12 years of experience building and implementing internet and digital workplace solutions and is an Office 365 and SharePoint expert. He'll be providing the demo and answering your questions during the Q&A. And as a company, this portal solutions, we are full service Office 365 and SharePoint company based in Orange County, Southern California with offices in Boston and India. We have about 130 employees comprised of Office 365 and SharePoint experts, product developers, custom success representatives, and solution consultants. I mentioned we have our BizPortal 365 product so we provide a number of services and support around the product, including development and customization, setup, customer success, and user adoption, training, and more. We also provide services to those that are not using our product but need Office 365, SharePoint, or Dynamics. Uh, and we help them, whether it be development, integration, or data migration services. You can visit our website, bizportal365.com, to get information on our products and services. 
We have over 15 years of experience developing internet and digital workplace solutions on SharePoint and Office 365. So we are experts in these areas as well as the Microsoft platform as a whole. Our customers range from small businesses to larger enterprises and across industries as we can customize our solution and services to meet your business and industry specific needs. Finally, we have been a trusted Microsoft Gold Partners for over 15 years as well. Let's start off with some specific challenges that we know our businesses, including our customers face, as it sets the stage for what business process automation can solve and the benefits and in Office 365 internet provides. First, paper forms. Businesses still use paper forms for many day-to-day -day tasks like expense reimbursements, timesheet and time off approvals, and work and purchase orders. Clearly, paper forms are inefficient, waste time, and can easily get lost. With these paper forms, there is no good way to uh, mechanize, to store, to track the status or search for them. So paper forms are costly to a business in many ways. Manual processing, such as simple multi-step approvals, like if you need a document signed off from different stakeholders or managers or manually inputting and keeping track of steps in a workflow from department to department or business systems to business systems or manually creating and distributing reports. All of these examples of manual processes are time consuming. Make sharing and distributing information to your employees difficult and are prone to error and miscommunication. Lack of accountability and communication. With paper forms and manual processes, it is hard to keep track of the status of a workflow. For example, was this document reviewed and approved? Or who does this information need to go to next? Or who is this task assigned to? Or who was this task completed by? Such tracking of information and tasks easily get lost as there is no recorded trail of activities. So it's hard to ensure accountability and proper communication. Lack of record keeping and compliance. This all becomes even more problematic as this also has to be manual. And if things get lost and aren't properly tracked, your record keeping and compliance is flawed and essentially non-existent. And another one is the disparate systems. Workflows and tasks become even more complicated if you have disparate systems that are not talking to each other and information has to be translated or transferred manually. Obviously, there is a business cost and a time and energy cost to all of this. Lost time, admin costs, manual errors, lost productivity, and more, and all of which add a real burden to your employees and business. But you can simplify much of your day-to-day -day work where it matters and makes sense with business process automation using Office 365. So how does business process automation solve these common challenges? First, an Office 365 internet digitizes your paper forms. So you don't have to search, print, scan, and physically file these forms anymore. An Office 365 automates workflows from simple multi-step workflows like approving time off and purchase requests from your manager, HR, and finance to more complex workflows such as managing inventory, formula reviews, compliance, or IT help desk tickets. Third, it automates reporting from creating, storing, and sharing reports. All of this can be automated with an Office 365 internet. And you can create easy to digest graphs and visuals from data and reports as well. Fourth, uh, integrate with other systems. Uh, so uh, not common among Office 365 internet, but with BizPortal 365, you can connect, bring in, and automate workflows and reports from different business systems, such as your ERP and CRM. 
and house and share this information across the business in one place. Fifth, enforce accountability, record keeping, and compliance. With an Office 365 internet, all actions and activities can be tracked, and each process maintains a history, making it easy to see who did what and who's responsible for the next steps. Your record keeping and filing of activities within a workflow are digitized. And for compliance, you can archive your activity and approval history and easily search and go back to that archive. So very powerful for businesses that have an audit and compliance need. And finally, there an Office 365 internet streamlines communication. You can track the progress of the workflows in a dashboard view to keep everyone informed and avoid miscommunication. Also, you can integrate notifications, alerts, reminders, and instant messaging with your workflows so you can communicate with people and teams in the same place where you are initiating and tracking your workflows. Here are some specific examples of the types of processes, workflows, and tasks that can be automated. We group them in three buckets, HR and admin, operations, and IT. For HR admin type tasks, you can digitize and automate your time off management, including timesheet approvals and time off requests, expense and purchase requests and approvals, invoice processing from invoice creation to tracking, employee onboarding, offboarding activities without having to burden HR, and employee performance reviews. For operations, you can digitize and automate your work orders and your inventory, quality and project management workflows, and financial reporting. And for IT, you can automate the creation and management of your IT help desk tickets, user rights provisioning, creating and managing help desk cases, your systems monitoring and alerts notifications, and IT reporting. These are just some commonly used examples of business process automation on Office 365, but there are many more workflows you can implement. So to help see the difference between a manual and automated process, Let's look at a very simple example of an expense reimbursement form that needs a manager's and the finance and accounting department's approval. As you can see, there are many manual steps and touch points for even a simple workflow such as this. You must first locate the latest form, print it, fill it out manually, scan and attach the receipt, and send it to your manager or physically hand it to them to sign it. Then it needs to be passed on via email or hard copy to the finance department for their approval. Then importantly, they have to record and file it for accounting purposes. The problem here is that this process is inefficient. That is obvious. It takes more time than it needs to. Importantly, there is an increased chance that things get lost in the email and are unable to track the status of even a simple workflow. Also, you are likely to have to send a few email reminders and follow-ups to make sure the forms get approved and processed in time. But with an Office 365 internet, you automate this process. You can easily find and initiate the form because it is in one central place, searchable place. You will fill out and submit the digital form with the purchase receipt. It is automatically sent to your manager with a notification. Your manager approves it with a click of a button. Then it is automatically routed to the finance department. They approve it and have it digitally recorded and stored with a click of a button so that they can easily go back to it if needed, especially for audit and compliance. And along the way, you can see the status of the workflow. So you see reminders and notifications as needed. And every action is recorded and tracked and a history of activities maintained. All of this with a few clicks of a button. 
Now, this was just a basic example. Take this across the many processes and workflows across your business, whether administration related, HR, operational, or compliance. Then you can see how powerful business process automation is. And Office 365 Internet can fill many of the gaps where you need business automation to run your business more efficiently, smoothly, and more productively. Now let's talk about how an in, uh, Office 365 Internet has built-in business process automation. The Internet solution, as you can see, is in the center of the hub. There are layers and layers of functionality around it, and that makes the complete solution. And so the uh, Internet solution is built on Office 365 and SharePoint framework and connects to your Office 365 environment. It extends these frameworks with uh, enhanced and more flexible usability. You will see what this can look like in the demo. It delivers a lot more functionality, so it adds on and enhances the features that come out of the box with Office 365 and SharePoint. But with this uh, Biz Portal 365, we have extended the functionality even further beyond typical internet features to include robust built-in features for project management, forms management, and automation, and HR and employee management, and can stand alone as separate solutions but are fully integrated with your intranet, allowing our customers to replace and consolidate their existing tools. So with this Portal 365, we have extended the Office 365 intranet into a more comprehensive, business-enabled intranet solution. We have a built-in integration uh, to bring in key functionality into one solution and in one unified experience rather than using them as separate standalone tools. These integrations are ready to go for you to use. So it has built-in integration with Microsoft Flow. Microsoft Flow is a powerful, easy-to-use tool in Office 365 to automate your workflows from simple to complex. With the built-in integration with Flow, you can do many more things with Flow from configuring alerts and approvals to modeling complex multi-stage processes. Then you have Outlook for email integration, OneDrive for your file storage, Teams and Yammer for team discussions and real-time team communication, Planner to supplement task management, Power BI to make data and reports easy to digest and understand with graphs, visuals, and dashboards. So these Office 365 tools and functionalities are already integrated within Office 365 intranet in one solution, in one unified experience. And with this Portal 365, we have enabled the ability to integrate with other business applications, your CRM and ERP, for example, to bring in and distribute data and reports and bring in workflows from these external systems. And of course, it is cloud and web-based and is equipped with enterprise-grade security. So now, how do you get started with business process automation if you are on Office 365? Well, you have two main options. Option one, the first one is to build a solution on your own. However, doing so can be costly and time-consuming. Taking the example of a simple form, it takes time to plan the specifics of a workflow. Like your forms, you have to design the form and document the routing and workflow. Then it requires some Office 365 and SharePoint skills to implement the, work, the form and the workflow, which involves some coding, then some QA to make sure it's working properly. So this option does require more time, money, and resources and increased risk as there is more pressure on you to get it right given the time and money you are spending. But if you have dollars, time, and skills to build process automation on Office 365 with a large IT group, this may be the way to go. But if you, like most businesses, don't have the time, dollars, or rather spend time and resources on other priority items, 
a turnkey ready-made Office 365 intranet like this Portal 365 could be the way to go. This is option two. This Portal 365 has ready-made forms and workflows that you can use. We have built and integrated many common forms, workflows, and integrations, so the backbone of business process automation is already there and ready for you to use for most of your day-to-day -day needs. And if needed, you can easily customize forms and if, uh, workflows to your needs because the infrastructure is already built in and set up. So you avoid reinventing the wheel and reduce the risk of going at it on your own and spending a lot of time and money doing so. And more importantly, with this Portal 365, you get a comprehensive feature-rich internet that serves as your employee hub with your documents, company news and announcements, forms, projects, and more, all one streamlined, organized place. Also, an Office 365 intranet is easy to use, doesn't require any special skills or any IT resources to set up and maintain. We do all that for you, and it is quick to set up within days and is cost effective. Also, we provide regular product and feature updates so you don't have to worry about your intranet becoming old and obsolete. You get a quick ROI with minimum investment. Considering all the benefits, this option is the way to go for most businesses in Office 365. So, uh, hopefully what I have uh, gone through gives you some takeaways on what you can do with business process automation with an Office 365 internet. Now, Anil will bring all of this to life with a live demo. <clears throat> Thanks a lot, Surendra. Uh, hi everyone. Um, my name is Anil Gursani. I'm the Solutions Lead for BizPortal's uh, 365. Um, hopefully you can see my screen. I've just shared my screen here. Uh, so basically, as Rendra mentioned, with a ready-to-go intranet solution on top of Office 365, you really get to leverage your investment of Office 365, you know, your subscriptions that you have, uh, and you can really put that to good use. Now, out of the box SharePoint, obviously you can create team sites, hub sites, modern sites. I'm sure you'll have read about all of that. But really, in terms of bringing it all together with all tools of Office 365, uh, you know, this portal really uh, has been designed uh, with that goal in mind. So, with that, I'll start off uh, as a brief overview. Uh, this portal 365 covers four key areas. Uh, of a business operation. Uh, one is, um, uh, you know, information distribution and consumption. Uh, second is project management. Uh, so if you're running projects, which most organizations do, uh, so you could uh, execute all your projects within this intranet solution. Uh, then you have team collaboration or department sites. Uh, you could create those very easily and manage it within here. And the fourth and uh, the one that we are going to cover today is business process automation. So <clears throat> getting into that right off the bat, uh, what you see here is the home page of our intranet uh, solution. And you see there are some forms uh, that are available right here. Right? So now these forms come out of the box with this portal 365. Uh, it covers about 70 to 80% of uh, corporation requirement, uh, whether you're a small business or a large enterprise. Uh, we can always work with you and design new forms and put that uh, right here. So uh, getting into these forms, basically you could have your employees fill out a simple form as a time of request or maybe a little bit more complex as a purchase request or then reimbursement forms and then take it through a multi-stage approval process. So that's the first example we will go through. Uh, so let's say with the time of request, uh, I'm logged in as Alex, the user. I initiate this form. And as you can see right on the top, it shows me who my manager is. Uh, so basically what is going to happen is Alex is going to fill out a time off. He's going to take time off uh, next week. Uh, it's very simple. You can just put the dates here. 
um, and it's for the whole day and it's a vacation and he goes through and uh, he can attach files but basically he would just go ahead and submit this form so it's e as easy as doing that right so a form can be initiated submitted within the system and <clears throat> without moving on to the next login and so on uh, just to give you an idea uh, the manager would get what is called an in-app notification. So BizPortal 365 has this notification feature built in. So outside of getting an email notification with a link to the form, you also get in-app notification. So one uh, example of a process automation. So when uh, his manager IC has logged in, he would just come here and be able to see that there are forms pending for his approval, right? Uh, and the one that he has uh, rejected and approved, all those would start showing up here. Now, for a good management of all the forms uh, for the manager, um, you know, instead of going to emails uh, and then uh, going through each and every email, what uh, we provide is something called a form center. Okay. Now, a form center uh, basically gives a great organized view uh, to a person of all the forms. On the right side, you see the inbox. So all the forms that he has submitted for approval and the ones that he has to approve. So you can just toggle between those two uh, and you see that there are forms that are waiting to be approved, right? So he could just click on one of these. It's a time of request um, and look at all the details here. Now, what we have done in uh, really replicating the process uh, that is a paper-based or manual process we are given some options outside of approving or rejecting. There are some other options the manager can work with. He could email a copy to someone else. He just wants to share that information. He could request comments back from the user. So all of that process that you would generally follow in a manual or a paper-based form, uh, all of that has been replicated, digitized here. So he could request a comment and then send it off uh, Alternatively, uh, he could at any point view the activity log of this form uh, and then copy this link and then send it, share it with others as needed. Okay, so instead of walking across the office and uh, giving forms to other people, uh, printing it out and giving it, everything is digitized here. So he would see this form. If everything is fine, he would just go ahead and approve it. So it's very simple. A time off has been approved and he could just shut this okay so a great way of automating all your forms so all your business processes you could really make it into forms for example publish it right on the home page here for your employees and take them through a multi-stage approval process okay so a good way of doing that uh, as surendra mentioned uh, you know there are a lot of functionalities in terms of reimbursement requests uh, IT help desk cases, another great example uh, of a business process. So your employees fill in an IT help desk case. Uh, again, what you see here, uh, this is a form that we provide out of the box. If you have custom fields that you wanted uh, in this form, we could work with you and quickly put that in place. Uh, all the values of fields, uh, we could customize those for you. But essentially for IT help desk, uh, it's easy to for an employee to just quickly come here, fill the form in. Uh, maybe there is an error he's getting accessing a certain uh, desktop or a server. You could uh, select those files, those images, and upload it here and send it across to the IT department. Now, for IT, uh, similar to what you saw earlier in the form center, uh, there is a facility to go ahead and look at all your cases for example let's go ahead and look at it help desk cases okay and again we could keep this link only for it uh, you know personnel they could come here and quickly click on that and here uh, this is a great way to see you know by user by each it employee uh, that uh, how many cases or you know all cases you could see them here it help desk cases uh, the ones that are assigned uh, to me specifically, my team's cases and so on, you could see all of that in one view. So you could essentially run your entire IT help desk uh, through this portals 365. Okay, so 
uh, if you have existing subscriptions to an IT help desk solution, you can do away with that. Again, leverage your Office 365 and SharePoint uh, subscription. Uh, the investment you have made, uh, you could really put that to good use here. So with this, uh, the saved records, if you see this link, open saved records, you could do that for all the forms. And as we create new forms, you could bring that in this table. Uh, you would have access to all of that. So again, for time off, as we had just filled one form, if you see uh, for the time off request, again, it, it gives you these options right on the top left. So your time off forms, your team. If you're a manager, you'll be able to see all the time offs here. So all historical records are kept here. Okay. So great way to, again, automate all of these. Uh, processes here. Uh, we also have a new hire set up. Uh, so if there's a new hire, you want to take it through approval process before it actually goes to uh, the recruiting team, uh, you could set that up here. So we have a multi-stage approval process built in behind every form. All right. The other component of business process automation is really around uh, the concept of really taking any component of Office 365, be it uh, a list item, be it uh, an email, you want to automate certain things. So I'll give you a very small, you know, short example of that. Uh, and uh, again, for any detailed uh, questions, either you could ask a question here or you could schedule a demo with us. So let me take you through a very simple example. So this is the email. Uh, you see this is Outlook. Uh, same user, logged in. Uh, what happens usually with uh, people is they get emails, they want to follow up, they won't put that as a task item, uh, but you know what you end up doing is flagging the item. So you see some of the emails are flagged here. Okay, um, so you could go ahead and uh, let's say I start flagging some emails that I want to follow up, right? So I flag these and then I'll have to come back to this and really if I'm using another task management tool, I'll have to put these as tasks uh, in the other place, but Really automating this with Office 365, it's very easy with Microsoft Flow. Uh, so basically, as you flag emails here, uh, I'm sure some of you are familiar with Microsoft Planner, which is a project management tool uh, outside of uh, this portal. So this is just purely Office 365. Uh, so you could come here, set up a flow, so that every time you flag an email, it simply goes and sits in uh, your planner as a task. Okay, so uh, as I flagged email, they've all come in this view, and you know it's all in one bucket called email tasks. Uh, so I know from where they have come in, and then you can work with these tasks. You can drag and drop and really work with these. Uh, so how all of this was done? This was really done using Microsoft Flow. Okay, so we have set all these up uh, using Microsoft Flow. Uh, again. Similar things could be done with this portal 365. It all depends on how you use uh, and what uh, source uh, you would want to use as a, uh, for your automation. Okay, so another example of uh, automating certain tasks here. All right. Now, uh, in terms of uh, business process automation, the other component is you work with uh, generally with tasks. So I'll just give you a quick view here. Uh, so here is a list of tasks here, right? Now this is a marketing department site. You have all these tasks here. Uh, you could go ahead and really uh, work on these where you could set up alerts because what happens in, again, in a process is where you put in tasks, uh, you could see them as they are overdue and so on, but it's only when you go to the site and you're able to view these tasks you would want to probably get this real-time information so you could uh, configure alerts on your task list, okay? And again, some of you are familiar uh, with out-of-the-box SharePoint, I'm assuming. Uh, so very similar to how SharePoint does it, this basically uh, you could put a title to this task list and then based on choosing options here, uh, basically you could get alerts when anything changes in the list, basically a daily summary if you want, of the list where uh, the entire task list is. Uh, maybe for late tasks, you want to send some notifications, upcoming tasks, completed ones, uh, you could send notifications. So real time you're updated with everything that's going on in your department. Okay. So another example of uh, automation. 
you know process automation uh, so with this a lot of things can be achieved uh, with the office 365 flow uh, you could connect your entire intranet uh, solution all the components really set up automated processes behind those okay the other component of uh, business process automation as mentioned earlier was automated reporting so let's say you are either you are working in this portal 365 in a department site and you want to create a report around task or better yet if you have for example let's say a crm solution let's talk about microsoft crm microsoft project server you want to really automate the reports from there and just quickly publish it directly on the portal you could definitely achieve that a uh, very quick example is uh, this power bi report uh, so i've just brought that up now this is just a canned report here but basically you could generate your own reports and they could automatically be published here okay so integration with uh, uh, connecting and integrating data sources uh, you know really and bringing reports in using power bi again all of that goes towards leveraging your investment you really don't need outside tools uh, to accomplish these things all right so i hope with that uh, you get some understanding of the business process automation you know we covered uh, configuring alerts we covered uh, you know forms automation approval processes uh, i showed you form center very powerful an organized way to keep all your forms in one place to make sense of all the information that's flowing across um, and also you could see historical records and so on of all the uh, forms that are in there now <clears throat> with my years of experience with uh, sharepoint uh, again you know it started with on premise then it went to online uh, so there is always a question between uh, you know using on premise system and then having office 365 how can you really connect those two that is you have an on premise solution and you have an uh, in cloud solution uh, well that's absolutely possible so if you have that kind of setup today we can certainly work with you you deploy this portal 365 on your office 365 tenant uh, we can connect it to your on premise uh, data sources and bring in information integrate systems and so on okay so now in a nutshell i'll uh, quickly give you uh, an overview of a uh, intranet solution so as i said information distribution um, it's great uh, to be able to send alerts to your employees you could send it right here some news and announcements you have a calendar web part here again another level of automation if you think uh, you could really publish all kinds of things here so as people take time off or they're out of office as they are filling the form it can automatically come and sit in in the calendars right here okay so time of requests are there out of office uh, you could have other department site calendars show up here you have the holiday calendar you can even integrate microsoft outlook really to this uh, calendar view okay so all your calendars from microsoft outlook your personal calendar and shared one can come and be displayed here and another level of integration is with uh, this people lookup or employee directory uh, as uh, mentioned earlier this is integrated you can send messages using skype so integration with skype is uh, available you could send an email via outlook you can again call a person again uh, using skype so communication collaboration between people is really made simple with a very simple user interface for all employees here and then you have a couple of other parts here uh, birthday and work anniversary Parts, right so great way to organize all your information um, also we have an employee center so hr can publish all kinds of information for employees you could have employee onboarding now if you would want details around this it's very interesting to talk about it but we have a very short time essentially you could automate your onboarding process okay so as soon as a new person comes in uh, you could start having them read through some information you could build your onboarding process automate certain things so an employee a new employee goes through filling forms uh, one at a time uh, in a sequential order and those go to hr and they get deposited uh, so that whole process of onboarding and training can be built in right here okay so i'm just giving you 
uh, some examples of what all can be done, uh, but there's a lot more. It's a scalable framework, uh, SharePoint, so this portal 365 can take full advantage of SharePoint and publish all kinds of information and processes. Okay, with every site or employee center, which is essentially a site or a department site or a project site, uh, you get a document library. And not only one, you could have multiple document libraries, uh, but basically all your documents can go through, uh, can be integrated uh, with OneDrive, uh, you could just import documents directly here uh, with these documents. Again, another uh, thing that I would want to bring uh, to light is a lot of documents have to go through uh, e-signatures. They have to go through an approval process. Uh, so we have integration with DocuSign, which is an optional module. But basically, uh, you could take a document and really take it through an e-signature you know or an approval process right from here again if you want more details you'd be happy to get into a one-on-one -on -one demo and show you more details around that all right so a document library essential uh, component of a business operation so it's available for you for every site here so on so with that i think uh you know this uh overview um hopefully helped you in understanding uh, different kinds of things you can do, different kinds of processes you can automate. Uh, please get uh, hold of us and we'll get into more details. Okay, uh, let me jump into the Q&A. There were some questions that came in. Um, all right, so the first one is, uh, can I integrate my ERP solution to SharePoint? And how will I display the reports? Yes, so just similarly to what how I showed you in CRM, we could publish the reports. Uh, you could integrate your ERP application into this, build a site uh, for your reports. You could have a report center built in right at the top that you see here. Uh, you could build another report center and bring all your analytics, uh, and business intelligence, uh, everything published on one site. Definitely we can do that. Uh, so again, uh, if you want more information, uh, you could uh, contact us and we'd be happy to talk to you. All right. Uh, what is the pricing? So this portal 365, does it include uh, forms and workflow? Yeah. So the pricing for that um, is, you know, our list price is $15 per user per month. Uh, again, we have special pricing for nonprofits. Uh, educational um, and government organizations. Um, so please give us, uh, uh, you know, get hold of us. You can send us an email at sales at bizportals.com. Go to our website, schedule a demo also, and then we can talk further about that. All right. I'll take the last question. Uh, does this include forms and workflow? Yes. So what do you saw today in the demo? Uh, that is out of the box solution. So it uh, includes all those eight to 10 forms that uh, we saw. Uh, it includes the workflow. You could set up your workflow. Uh, there's an admin module, so you can really manage your workflows through that. Uh, and we also provide services, you know, Office 365 um, services, SharePoint, uh, in, uh, you know, migration. If you have on premise, uh, those are essentially services that we provide. So we could be a total solution provider for you, um, not only configuring BIS portals for you, but really migrating all your data documents from either an on-premise SharePoint or any other system, we can help you in migrating those. All right, so with that, I'd like to thank you all for attending this webinar. Again, please get hold of us, schedule a demo, and we'd be happy to talk to you. Thank you.